Hey! All right, in this video, we're talking about necks. There's a lot going on on the head of the neck. Um, you know, it doesn't just hold, you know, your tuning machines. Uh, one of the most critical things that you have to do is you have to create pressure with the strings going over the nut, right? So the nut is that thing at the end of the fingerboard right here. The way you design the head of the neck is pretty important, right? So if you were looking at like a, a fender style neck, right? So this is a kind of a Telecaster copy that we made, I don't know, maybe eight years ago. But um, the fender style on the head of the neck is basically you're using a single piece of wood and then you're just cutting this section out, right? So that the tuning machines are sitting lower in elevation, right? Now, another way that you can create that string pressure over the nut is you have your head angled back, right? So you have the neck and then the head angles back. So when the strings go over the nut, there's some natural pressure right there. So that's how we're going to do this today. And we're going to do it by doing a scarf joint, right? So a scarf joint is just, it's a really shallow angle joint that you put in the neck that makes the head lay back, right? Uh, so I'll show you how I do it and hopefully you'll find it interesting. All right. All right, so the first thing, first thing we gotta do is take this piece of wood, we need to run it through the table saw. All right, and then we're gonna run it through the, uh, the thickness planer, right, just to clean it up. All right, get it down to the size that I want, uh, which is basically about two and three quarters inches wide. First of all, it's got a little runner on it, right? So that we can run it into the uh, into the grooves on the top of the table saw. Because it has the runner on the bottom of it, it's gonna feed into uh, the slot on the table saw and that's gonna keep it consistently at that angle that we need as we, as we work it through. Does that make sense? So now, this piece of wood, which, which looked like this before, you know, now has the cut in it, okay? So, boom. So this is the neck. This is the majority of the neck, all right? And then we take our, the piece that we just cut off, all right, we do that. So we flip it. And then we go boom, just like that, right? And we glue it on there. So that's how we create that, uh, that angle of the head at the back, right on. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so show you one more thing before we glue this thing up, all right? So this is, this is another jig. When you glue these things together, they wanna separate, right? So, you know, you have this, and you have this piece. All right, cool. Get it on there. But as soon as you put glue in there, right, it was like super squishy and slippery. As soon as you put glue in that joint and then you clamp it down, it wants to go and it wants to slide apart. It's a real big pain in the butt. Now what you could do is like you could put like some little braids some little uh, tiny little nails or something in this and you can get it pressed down on here so that, you know, it kind of locks in and you do that before you glue it. But I found that using this jig, 
accomplishes the same thing and it's a lot quicker. Really the meat and potatoes or the, uh, the meat and butter of this jig is, is on this side, all right? So we set the jig, we set the jig on the table, on the table saw because it's flat, right? It's absolutely flat. So we set it on the table and then we put our neck in here, sits on the table. That way everything's flat, right? It, you know, that way you're not getting it in there and it's all cockeyed and whatnot, okay? So you'll see how it works, but this thing's crucial, crucial. All right, here's the neck. It's gonna get clamped to the jig there. We'll throw the, the heel end in there as well. And then everything gets clamped up. Boom. All right, let's go. Uh, we don't need a heck of a lot of glue. We will spread it out. Not super tight yet. I want to make sure that once everything's glued up, everything's flat. Get this little wedge, a wedge guy, because this is on a bit of an angle. Okay, let's check it out. So it's the next day. As you can tell, it's been a, a significant wardrobe change. No, I'm just kidding. But it is the next day. Let's get these clamps off, see what it looks like. Bum, 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 bum. So, that yeah, paper did its job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Like I thought in the little thing right here. Yeah, it's stuck on there, but there we go. Since the start of this project, we've got, we got three of them. We got, we've got three necks ready to go. So these guys will just sit, sit around until, uh, until there's a project for them, <laughs> a guitar that they have to be part of, right? Uh, next step would be uh, reinforcing rods, truss rod, uh, and then building it up for whatever, whatever it needs to be. So it's great having these extra mahogany necks ready to go. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.